Good afternoon children. Welcome back to class. Children, today we are going to learn something very easy and interesting. You want to know what it is? Yes, we are going to learn the concept of before, after and between. Okay, so we are going to learn what is before, after and between. Now I have a few objects on my board. Can you see these three animals here children? Yes, in the first row, let's look at which animal is here. The first animal is of a, who is this? A lion, very good. Who is the next? An elephant, really good. And who is this one? A tiger. So let's look at all of them together. Now we have a lion, an elephant here and a tiger here. Okay, all three in a row. Now children, you have to tell me which animal is standing before the elephant. Which animal is standing before the elephant? Now what is before? Before is something that comes first. So who is before the elephant? Who is this? The lion. Very good. So once again, who is before the elephant? The lion. Now let's look at these two. Now this is a tiger and this is an elephant. Now which animal is standing before the elephant? I mean the tiger. Which animal is standing before the tiger? Just before. Who is this? An elephant. Very good. So the animal that is standing before the tiger is the elephant. Okay children? Now let's look at the next set of pictures. Okay, just below. Now I have another pictures here. Let's see who is this. What's this? An aeroplane. Very good. This is a butterfly and a fish. Okay, now let's, let me ask you one more question. What picture is there before the butterfly? So before. Before is here. So what is this? An Aeroplane. Very good. Now let me ask you another question. Let me see if you can guess it right. Which picture or who is before the fish? Who is before the fish? Where is before? Here first. So who is before the fish? The butterfly. Very good. So have you understood children what is before? Before is something that comes at the beginning. Okay. So before the elephant was the lion. Before the tiger was the elephant. Before the butterfly is the aeroplane. And before the fish was a butterfly. So have you all understood what is before children? Okay. Now let's learn what is after. Okay. Again we go to the same pictures children. Okay. Now let me ask you. This is a lion right. Now who is standing after the lion? Who is this? Elephant. Very good. And who is standing after the elephant? Who's here? Yes, a tiger. Once again, who's standing after the lion? It's an elephant. And who's standing after the elephant? Who's this? The tiger. Very good. So after comes later. Okay, after goes like this. Now let's look again here. Now what is after the aeroplane? Which picture is placed after the aeroplane? Here. What is this? The butterfly. And what comes after the butterfly? What's this? A fish. Very good. Let's once again see. What comes after the aeroplane? A butterfly. And after the butterfly comes a fish. Okay, children, so you all have understood what is before and after, children. Okay, before comes first and after comes later. Now, let me ask you one last question. Tell me, look at these three animals here. Okay, tell me who is in between the lion and the tiger? Who is in between in middle, in the middle? Who is this? The elephant, yes. So, what is between? Between is... Someone standing in between of two people. Okay. So here there is one. Here there is one. And who is in the middle? The elephant. So this is called in 
between. The elephant is in between the lion and the tiger. Same way, let me ask you here. What is in between the aeroplane and the fish? Who is in the middle, children? Yes, the butterfly. So, the butterfly is in between the aeroplane and the fish. So, have you all understood what is before, after and between? Isn't it easy? Children, we just learnt the concept of before, after and in between looking at different objects. Okay, we seen few animals and then we seen a few objects and we learnt what is before, what is after and when to say what is between. Okay, now using that same concept children today, now I mean we are going to see numerals. Okay, so now just look at what I am showing you. Can you see this line children over here and all numbers written on that line? Now this is called a number line. Okay, this is a number line. So now children by now I know all of you all know to recite numbers 0 to 10, right? You even know forward. So now let's see and say the numbers 0 to 10. Okay, let's begin. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this is our number line which is having 10 numbers written on it. Okay, now first we will see the concept of before numbers. Okay children, so let's see what is before numbers. Now, which is the first number written here children? Number 5. Okay. Now look at it carefully. This is number 5. Now we are going to search for this number 5 on our number line. Come on, look at the number line. Where is number 5? Where is number 5? Come on. Yes, I got it. It's here. So this is our number 5. Now what is teacher asking you? Teacher wants to know which number comes before this number 5. So where is before? Something that comes before is this side. Okay, something that comes first. So this is 5 and which is the number before? Year. So let me show you. This is a number 5. Okay, and what is before 5? Which number is this? Come on, tell me. It's number 4. So I'm going to write 4 year. Got it children? How you get the before number? Now let's look at the next number. What is this? Which number is this? Number 1. Very good. Now we are going to search for number 1 on our number line. Okay. Where is number, uh, number 1? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Yes. I found my number 1. This is my number 1. So what number comes before number 1? Who is this? Number 0. Very good. So what I'll do? What comes before 1 is year. So who is this? Yes, this is our number 0. So I'll write 0 here. Okay, now which is the next one here children? The next number, this is 8. Again let's look out for 8 on our number line. Here is number 8. Okay, so what comes before 8? Seven. Okay. So I got my number before 8 is 7. So I will write number 7 here. Now the last one is number. Which number is this? 4. Can you search for number 4 here? Yes. I got it here. So this is number 4. I have to find the number which comes before number 4. So where is before? Yes. This one. So who is this? Number Three. So I'm going to write number 3 here. Got it children? What is before numbers? So anything that comes before this way. Okay. Go to the left. So that is the before number. Okay. Children now we'll see our after numbers. Okay. 
We just learned before. Now let's see what is after numbers. Now which is our first number here children? Number 2. Very good. Let's look for 2 in our number line. Where is 2 on our number line? Yes, here. So now for after numbers we have to go forward. Okay. So this is our 2. What comes after 2? What comes here after 2? Who's this? Yes, number 3. So I'm going to write number 3 here. Okay. Let's look at our next number. Which number is this? 9. Come on, look for number 9 on our number, li number line here. This is number 9. What comes after 9? Who's this? Yes, we go forward like that. So who's this children? Which number is this? Number 10. So I'm going to write 1 and 0, 10 here. Now let's look for the next number. This is number 3. Where is number 3 here? This is number 3. And what comes after 3? After 3 is number 4. So I'm going to write number 4 here. And the last number is number 6. Okay. Where is number 6? Here. So what comes after 6? Go forward. Okay. What comes after 6? Yes. It's number 7. So I'm going to write number 7 here below. So you understood children? This is after. When you go after, it's like this. Okay. When you go forward. So this is your after numbers. Okay, children. Now, a last concept and that is what comes in between. Okay, children. Now, I have written two numbers and we have to guess what comes in between those two numbers. Okay, so which is the first set of numbers? Let's look. Which number is this? This is 3 and there is a blank here and this is number 5. So, now let's search for these two numbers on our number line. Okay, so I have, I found 3 here. And I even found 5 here. Now what comes in between? Which number in between of 3 and 5? Yes, I found here. Who is it? Which number is that? That is number 4. So I am going to write 4 in between. Now let's say together. 3, 4, 5. Isn't it right? Very good. Now let's look at our next set. I have number 0. I don't know what's in between. And then I have number 2. Okay, so now let's search for these two numbers on our number line here. So I found 0 and I even found number 2. And what comes between them? Between them? There's someone between them. Who is that? Here. So this is number 1. Okay. Number 1. So I'm going to write number 1 between 0 and 2. And the last set of number is 8. And this is number 10. Once again, let's look out for these two numbers on the number line. Here, there is 8 and there is 10. Who is in between 8 and 10? Who comes between these two? There is someone here. Who is it? This is number 9. Okay. So, I am going to write number 9 between 8 and 10. Got it, children? So, 3, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 8, 9 and 10. So, this is the concept of before, after and between numbers. I hope you have understood, children.